Let's try an example of finding extrema that's a little more complicated than the last one. It still starts out the same way. We're given a function, f of x equals 2 sine x minus cosine of 2x, and an interval, the closed interval from 0 to 2 pi. And we know that whenever we want to find extrema on an interval, we first need to take the derivative. So we say f prime of x is 2 cosine x, because the derivative of sine is cosine, minus the derivative of cosine is negative sine of 2x, but then don't forget, since I have 2x inside the sine, I need to multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. And clean that up just a little bit and say that equals 2 cosine x plus 2 sine 2x. All right, now once I have the derivative, I want to take it and set it equal to 0. And so I'm going to say now that 2 cosine x plus 2 sine 2x equals 0. Now, I don't see a good way of solving this in the form that it shows up, so I have to use one of my trig identities, which is, I'm going to leave this first piece alone, 2 cosine x is just 2 cosine x, but the sine of 2x, I know, can be replaced with 2 sine x cosine x. Okay? Now, you may not know that trig identity off the top of your head, but eventually I'll give you a list of trig identities you need to know, and that will be one of them. The sine of 2x is 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. Now, I'm just going to clean that up one more time, and I'm going to say that that equals 2 cosine x plus 4 sine x cosine x. All right, I'm going to copy that onto the next screen. So what I've found is that we have 2 cosine x plus 4 sine x cosine x should equal 0 to find our critical point. Still doesn't look too easy to solve, so I notice that everything here has a 2 in it, and everything here has a cosine of x, so I'm going to factor out 2 cosine x, and then that leaves me with 1 plus 2 sine x equals 0. Now that it is factored, I can set each factor equal to 0, and these are not too difficult to solve. So I can take 2 cosine x equals 0, which means that the cosine of x equals 0. And when we are in between, remember our interval that was given to us was 0 to 2 pi. So we know from our unit circle that those places where the cosine of x is 0 is at, are at uh, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now I take the other factor and set it to e equal to 0 also. I'm going to switch colors so it's a little clearer here. 1 plus 2 sine x equals 0. Notice that I can subtract the 1 and divide by 2. That tells me the sine x must be negative one-half, and I know that from my unit circle, I know that there are two places where the sine of x is negative one-half between 0 and 2 pi, and that's when x equals 7 pi over 6, or 11 pi over 6. So I have four critical points on the interval that I'm interested in, 
and I have the two endpoints. So when I make my table on the next play on the next screen, I'll put these four values of x and the endpoints 0 and 2 pi. So here's my table. I'm going to say uh, x f of x. So I want 0. I want pi over 2. I want 7 pi over 6. I want 3. Sorry, that's 3 pi over 2. I'm going to make it into two tables, x, f of x. And I'm going to say I also want 11 pi over 6 and 2 pi. And I complete my table. I'm going to plug in each of these values, and to save time here, I'm not going to work each one of them out, but when I plug in 0, I would get out negative 1. Remember to plug this into the original function, not into the derivative. When I plug in pi over 2, I should get 3. When I plug in 7 pi over 6, I should get negative 3 over 2. When I plug in 3 pi over 2, I should get negative 1. And when I plug in 11 pi over 6, I should get negative 3 over 2. And when I, get, when I plug in 2 pi, I also get negative 1. So now I'm going to circle the minimum values in red. Notice here that at negative 3 over 2, I mean at 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6, I have negative 3 halves, which is negative 1.5, slightly lower than negative 1. So that must be the least value. And then notice also that we have a maximum value when x is pi over 2 and y is 3. So we've used the candidates test to locate two minimums that just happen to be the same value. So they're both minimums and one maximum uh, at pi over 2.